Blake Peterson runs a clock repair company out of his basement. And what a wonderfully peaceful work environment. The soft tick tocking, an occasional chime, or lullaby, or a few cuckoos. But there is one sound that deadens this tranquility. Wake, that is peaceful. And wake everybody in the house, including the dog and the neighbors. This is one of the original alarm clocks, but you are probably more used to hearing this. That equally horrible sound telling us, get up, go to work or school. But if you don't want to get up right away, there is always the snooze button, that magic button that on most alarm clocks gives us an extra nine minutes of sleep. But nine minutes? That got Charmaine Green wondering, why exactly nine? Who decided that nine is the magic number? Good question. When you asked me, I thought, I've got it. I'm, I'm going to query some of the horological community. And query Blake did, as did I. But it seems there is no definite answer. There are, however, two leading theories. One, that the first snooze buttons were made of gears, and the gear that fit into the mechanism just happened to be about nine minutes. The other theory, when alarm clocks went digital, the alarm was programmed to go off when the last digit was a certain number. So you could not snooze for exactly 10 minutes because the last number would be the same. As for Blake, he thinks it's just because clockmakers are a bunch of copycats. If somebody established something, somebody else probably copied it, and pretty soon it just it just became. Thanks, Charmaine, for the good question. I'm Matt Gephardt.